All right, well, no doubt you have some stemware, right? That maybe you broke a glass here or there. You have some mismatched pieces. Well, what do you do with them? Something like this? Well, I have a really fun idea for you. And let's just say we're just going to bling out your stemware, because that's basically what we're going to do. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is a bunch of pieces that I have created over the years. This is just some, a fun, fun project. What a great idea for a get together with the girls. You know, have your girlfriends come over, bring some of their, their stemware, um, bring some beads and share them, and then create some of your own. Um, unique, unique looks. I mean, look at look at this one right here. If you could, I, I just love how this looks. It's just different. It's unique and um, it's eclectic and it's super simple to do. So I'm going to show you how to work this. Okay. First of all, you need to collect all of your stemware. That's pretty easy to do. Then what you're going to want to do before you do anything to the stemware, as far as painting it and things like that, which we're going to do, you're going to have to clean the outside of it because I'm using some hydrogen peroxide. You could use vinegar. You could use rubbing alcohol. Basically, what you're trying to do is to remove any of the oils that you may have, um, you know, come off your fingers or things like that as you've been handling it, um, and that will help help the paint and the beads stick to the glass. And just FYI. You cannot put these in the dishwasher afterwards, okay? These are just for prettiness, and you can use them, but you have to wash them by hand. Then the, the key is a liquid liner, and you can find this liquid liner in the paint section of your um, craft store where they have like painted glass, and it's, it's very thick, and it's three-dimensional, and I'm just going to make a little design here just like that. You can make any kind of design you like. Just like that. Now it's nice and thick, right? So what you want to do then? I created. Some, I put some containers here, and when you gather up your beads, your beads are going to look like this. You buy them. Um, you can buy them at the craft store. Um, I go to SAS. I know you all know where SAS is. You can get them really super cheap. Um, you can buy them at you know sometimes even at um, Goodwill. Seriously, and all these different beads. And um, you can use bugle beads, little beads, big beads, whatever you want. I'm going to use this color here because I like this is a combination of some bugle beads and some of the smaller beads. And what you want to do is get a container just like this because your container is going to catch all the leftover beads after you sprinkle them on, just like this. And this will help this liquid liner. It's a three dimensional and, and pretty, pretty wet and tacky. It will capture all of the beads, okay? Now, the reason why I do it in a container like this is because whatever falls off, it falls in the container, I can put it back into my little container and I'm not wasting any, any beads. And keep in mind, if you're doing a whole bunch of different colors, then you want to have multiple containers. You want a container for each color. So that way, if you want to put them all back in the container and reuse them and have the same colors and not mix them up, then you're good to go. So then all you do is I kind of shake this off, shake off the excess beads like that. And then I'm going to let it dry. And, and what I mean by letting it dry, I'm really going to let it cure for a good 24 hours before you have your glass of wine because you're going to ruin your design. Now, here's the thing that let me, a little tip for you. Um, after it's dry, you're going to want to do this. Just, just kind of, you know, go like this. Just basically rub off. Any beads that are probably going to fall off eventually, anyway, not every bead is going to stick even after it dries because. Honestly, I mean, how embarrassing is this? You're all hanging out, you know, having a little cocktail, and you go like this, and you go, cheers, and then beads fall off all over the floor, which it, it might happen. It just might happen, but it's okay. You got to laugh about it because you've made these incredible works of art. So if you think about it, you can do just about anything glass. Look, I even did this carafe. Look how cute, how super cute that is. Inexpensive. And if you don't have leftover pieces of stemware, then you can still go. To you know, the secondhand store, you can pick up very inexpensive pieces of stemware, make your own designs, and maybe even give them as a gift to somebody special. But what I love about them, Susan, is that nobody will have what you have. They're unique and just just individual like you are. Oh, that's